All right. Um, we've great. also got a little update for you on how it's going over in the Republican Party in terms of moving on from Trump, right? Mm -hmm. The election results were as clear as they could possibly be <laughs> in terms of an indictment of his impact on the party, at least in terms of electoral results. All of the Republicans effectively who distanced themselves from him, like Brian Kemp, like Raffensperger, even DeSantis, who's kind of tried to keep a bit of an arm's length, they did very well. The candidates who were most closely tied to him and especially most tied to his Stop the Steal conspiracy bullshit, they crashed and burned almost unanimously throughout the country. So... Interesting exchange on Fox News with uh, Stuart Varney pressing current RNC chair, Ronna Romney McDaniel, about whether, hey, isn't this kind of simple? Isn't Trump ultimately your problem? Let's hear what she had to say. Would you publicly say that Donald Trump bears any responsibility for the, some of the losses in the midterm elections. Would you say that publicly? You know, I don't like this. I don't like these parceling out because he supported Ted Budd who won and he supported J.D. Vance who won. I think there's a lot of things. That's why I've put together an after action report. We've got to look at Dobbs. But here's the one thing that I think people should be talking about, the amount of ticket splitting. The amount of Republicans that went out and voted for a Republican at the top of the ticket. Look at Arizona. The top vote getter is a Republican. Look at uh, Georgia. We had eight of nine statewide races won by Republicans. But why are Republicans going and voting for one Republican and not the other? Trump. We have to work hard to bring is, those is, independents that the in. Answer to but your, that means turnout was not the issue. The answer is Trump, isn't it? I'm saying I'm not into the blame game right now. I think we've got to do an analysis. I think it's too quick. And I think you can't parcel out, well, this endorsement helped this one and this. It's the whole message. It's what did each candidate do? What was their turnout? But most importantly, what, how do we get independents to re support Republicans? Okay. And how do we get Republicans to support other Republicans? And this infighting within our party is never going to help that. We need Trump voters. We need McCain voters. We need Romney voters. And then some if we're going to beat the Democrat. Mm. Come on. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's, like, <laughs> it's eight out of nine. It's actually very simple why eight out of nine were Republicans in Georgia won. These people are, they're such clowns. Like, I don't even, my always theory with this, I'm like, why even go on? You know, when yeah. even the Fox guy has to be like, yo, come on. Like, this is obviously, I'm not into the blame game. It's humiliating. And here's the, when he's president, okay, I get it. You know, he's the president, like, you know, you gotta suck. He's not even the president anymore. Yeah. Like, well, what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, and obviously the RNC is gonna be really important for his presidential run this time around. I'm not saying that the whole campaign launch has like gone particularly well for him. Right. But it's in moments like this that you see like they're not ready to move on from exactly. him. They're still terrified of this guy. They're still afraid of him and what his followers will ultimately do. She knows that if she says it's his fault, he'll truth out like Freak she's got to go right. and you may well be done. Like that might be it for you, even though the, the message of this election vis-a-vis -vis Trump could not possibly have been more clear. And you're right to point to Georgia. I mean, in Georgia, every other Republican won except for Herschel Walker. Like, gee, I wonder what the like differentiating factor was here. All of these candidates that were backed by Trump, that backed his conspiracies, all the more closely tied they were to him and that stuff, the worse they ultimately fared. It was so clear, so consistent across the board. And you had not just her in this moment, which I really enjoyed watching. You had Josh Hawley come out with a piece that was attempting to say, ah, it wasn't really Trump. You had J.D. Right. Vance really going over the top, being right. like, Trump is not to blame. Listen, they have yet to come up with anything approaching a credible answer that does not involve sort of uh, the problems with the former president of the United States. But good luck moving on from them because they clearly are not really ready to do that. We'll see. I, I, re I, I have so many minds and it's such a different and difficult uh, concept. There's a poll actually just came out while we were doing the show, Crystal, about re Republican voters becoming a lot more split on Trump. But really, to me, the crazy one was they did the top line like Trump v. Biden. And right now they have Biden 47 and Trump at 40, where as they have DeSantis at 47 and Biden at 43. But the problem is, is that, you know, the GOP electorate is relatively split. So look, he's got them caught. They can't move on, as you said, because he'll, you know, truth out uh, whatever happens. He, he has them in a real pickle. And, you know, even DeSantis himself, he hasn't said a word. In some ways that's beneficial, but you can't beat somebody when you can't say anything bad about them. That's not how it work, works, folks, especially whenever you're going to have a whole host of other candidates who run too. So I think it's a nightmare scenario uh, for them all the way around. And yeah. It's one of their own making. You know, Absolutely. it really is. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. 
Hey guys, ready or not, 2024 is fully upon us now, and Sagar and I have been brainstorming ways that we can really up our game for this critical election. Yeah, we rely on our premium subs to expand our coverage, to add staff, to upgrade the studio. We just want to give you the best independent coverage of this election, which is possible. So if you can help us out, become a premium subscriber today, breakingpoints.com, or the link is down here in the description video. It really means the world to us, and if you like what we're all about, this is the best possible way to keep us 100% independent, working only for you.